Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to a second Mario Brothers X thing, the uh, Analog Funk. Today I'm going to party, platform, and dodge. Oh no. Ooh, another one of these sliding levels. Whee! I like these sliding levels. Oh hey, what's this? It talks. That was a bit too easy, let's kick it up a notch. I don't want to kick it up a notch. Okay. Okay. For a bit, for a second, there, I was worried about my hang time in the air. Okay, so I should have just moved that platform or er, spring a little over to the right. Oh my! They destroyed each other. Okay. Good job, me. Just get out of here. What? Go, me. Okay, so. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so, anything useful? Ooh, yes. I don't know how I managed that dodge, but it happened. No! Alright, whatever. Yeah, take that. Oh. Ah, oh, really? I let myself get stuck on that one screen for too long, and it killed me because, well, I gave things a chance to look. So I think I was meant to do this. Right. Ow! Alright. So I think this is simply meant to, uh, make sure you're powered up for this. Alright, so. Wait for the shot, and then just go bounce. Alright, so then. Alright. Curses! Okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just fly. I'm gonna fly. Yeah, take that level, using only the tools you have given me. I have skipped past stuff. What am I doing? Okay, so, yay midpoint. Hey you, tell me things. Don't stop now. You just got to the platform and rotodisc section. Oh no. Platforms and rotodiscs. What have I done? Why? Why did I do that? Also, okay, so wait for uh, whatever. I'll just wait here for. Had I not done a high jump, I would have been fine. This level wants to present itself as difficult, but then it gives you these little things you can do. 
to, uh, you know, not have to deal with it. Good job, me! Okay, now I'll just wait here for the thing to land. Or not. I think this might actually be faster than trying to get double leaf to show up. Alright, behold! Oh no, I messed up. This is such a simple thing, and I can't even do it right. Seriously. Seriously. I mean, look at this. Look at that. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, instead of trying to do a cheap little trick, actually playing the level as it was intended. A much better thing to do. Okay, so. Okay, so. Oh, right, I should ask the music, what the music is. Another something theme? Ow! Okay. This isn't that difficult. Why am I having such a hard time? No! Okay, I don't know how that happened, but whatever. Ha! Ah! This was already upside down. Clever. Silly. Go on, it's the final stretch. I believe in you. Ah. Oh, the final stretch, you say. Oh, gosh. I'm glad that... Ow. Okay, I'm glad that with a cape I don't have to do this the way it was built. Okay. Yay! Whew, that was rough. Blue Surf? No. No! Blue Surfer! So, as you might guess, this is a parody of Silver Surfer, which I have never played, but I've heard legends about. Where you would have these long levels where one hit would kill you, 
also the levels would be very different from what I know. But anyway, I'm not sure how much this is based on actual Silver Surfer level, or if it's just based on the concepts presented therein. But yeah, that level for practicing a um um come on that level for practicing the uh, uh the flying practice level blue sactus that was practice for this. Now the nice thing about this level is that if you pick up the uh, power up at the start like in intended, you are guaranteed to have the power for the whole level because if you get hit, you're going to die. Oh, this is rough on my mind. Ha! <laughs> that ghost. <laughs> I love the faces it makes. Woo! Also, those pursuer type enemies don't really work in a um this kind of level. Oh no! Okay. So yeah, this is based on another, this second section here, third. This section here is based on another type of level from Silver Surfer, which again I have not played, so I'm only relaying my uh, second hand knowledge here, where you would be uh, flying upward on the screen. Oh no. I got killed by a moth creature. Okay, so, taking flight. Woo! That almost got me. Oh my. No! <sighs> I do like how this level takes great pains to warn you about the general direction you're supposed to move in. To avoid getting thwompinated. Or whatever. To avoid ramming your... Those moth creatures. I like the pains that this level takes to warn you to not ram your head into magma or uh, swamps. The rest of the stuff you're on your own for, but the rest of the stuff is, you know, more clear, I guess. I don't know. The uh, um. Come on, you win! Yay! Anyway, what was I saying? There was a thing I was saying. The thwomps you especially need warning since they just drop on you. Most other enemies you have warning when they come on the screen that you can react to them. Oh, oh no. Monty Mole's Aerial Extravaganza. Episode 12B, starring the Right Honorable Sir not appearing in this game is Monty Mole. Liberty Bell March. Welcome on all to Monty Mole's Aerial Extravaganza. Look and be astounded as living projectiles fly through the sky in perfect formation. Oh, oh my goodness. So, for this level, they used Luna. Luna Lua, Luna DLL, whatever. To give you infinite flight. Level 
like, it's, it's not obvious that that's what they did. And so the first time I kind of panicked as I flew. But yeah, as long as you keep on flying, you can fly forever. As a consequence, this is another one of those levels where if you get hit once, you die. But it certainly feels a lot easier. Oh, don't it? Now witness such amazing agility as an amateur daredevil risks life and limb to fly safely across a pit filled with body-piercing spikes and flesh-mangling saws. Oh, I can't watch. Here's another power-up if you need one. The thing to remember is that the saws are painful on all sides. The spikes are only p curses, painful where there are spikes. Alright, and now, what's this? And now for something completely different. Our grand finale, gaze in awe as our fearless daredevil will traverse this very ring filled with gravity-defying molten rock. Oh, how I admire the courage of that individual. It brings a tear to your eye, doesn't it? I love the presentation of this level, I must say. Also, is there anything up here? This is my only line. Neat! Oh no! Woo! Oh! I messed up, but fortunately I could- wait, there was a thing there. Now I have to see it. That was deliberate, by the way. Oh, okay, that just happens as soon as the level loads in. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why you'd need a power-up for this segment, since, you know, it's a one-hit equals death segment. Alright, so... Good job, me! Ah, oh, really? I was hoping to just jump across that gap and, you know, not deal with what was down below, but I couldn't do the timing right. You know, thinking about it, I've played through Final Fantasy VIII more times than I've played through Final Fantasy VII. I think I somehow enjoyed VIII more than VII, even though Seven is apparently a big fan favorite, and eight, you just kind of met with a bleh reaction. We hope you enjoyed Monty Mole's Aerial Extravaganza. Copyright 2014 Mole Monty Games Ltd. What are you waiting for, a giant football? Yes. That is what I'm waiting for. Sorry, the foot's asleep. <laughs> So, there are two paths through the world, and they both meet up here. Now, this time, like, usually, usually I've been just completing a world and then going back and doing the other path. But since this is the final main story world, next time I'm going to challenge this castle. See you then.